In this video, we'll show you a very important concept in ebook design, and that is the difference between reflowable and fixed layouts. Each layout format has its own uses, benefits, and drawbacks. Let's start with a reflowable layout. Here, we have a reflowable chapter open. As you can see, it contains some text, an embedded YouTube video, and two images. When we preview the chapter, you will notice that the content is viewed sequentially one after the other. And you can view more content by scrolling vertically, but not horizontally. That is why you'll need to determine the specific order of the content for each chapter and what should appear first to your readers. Now to show you what that means, let's preview the chapter on different screen devices. Click on Customize. Then choose a different device such as Samsung Galaxy S9. You'll notice that the layout is responsive and has been automatically adjusted to fit the new screen size by wrapping the text and increasing the length of the page. The same thing will happen if we choose a bigger device such as an iPad Pro. A reflowable layout optimizes the content of the pages for different screen dimensions so that the readers scroll up and down on whatever device they're using. Another key benefit of reflowable layouts is that readers can change the font size to their liking, which makes reading easier on smaller screens and for people with minor visual impairments. When to choose a reflowable layout? This layout is best used for ebooks that will be read on mobile devices as readers will be able to view it on different screen sizes. It's also perfect for text heavy ebooks as readers will be able to adjust the ebook's text to their liking. So, if you're writing, for example, a novel or a nonfiction book, better choose a reflowable layout. Moving on to the second type, which is the fixed layout. Fixed layouts are not responsive as reflowable ones. The placement of the content is fixed on the page and doesn't change with changing the screen size or orientation. For example, we have a fixed chapter open here. We added the same content that we added in the reflowable chapter, but not in the exact position. The design here is more flexible. All the content is added in the form of containers, and you can change the position of these containers as you'd like either vertically or horizontally. With fixed layouts, you will set precisely where everything will be on the page, and they will appear exactly where you place them on all devices and screen sizes. To show you how it is, let's preview this page on another device through Customize here. Let's choose Samsung S8, for example. You'll see that everything is exactly where we added them. And when your readers zoom in, the whole page will expand beyond the borders of the screen, and they will need to use the vertical and horizontal scroll bars to see the rest of the page. One drawback of fixed layouts, though, is that they are not very user-friendly, as readers cannot change the font size of the text. Instead, they have to zoom in and scroll vertically and horizontally to read the entire page. When should you choose a fixed layout? Choose this layout when you want to have complete control over the ebook design, such as in the case of picture heavy books like comic books and children's books, where the placement of images and text must be fixed. Using both layouts in the same ebook, sometimes you'll find that you want to add both reflowable and fixed chapters in the same ebook to create an ideal reading experience for your readers. The good news is that Kudabi Author and Kudabi Reader allow for the creation and viewing of mixed layout ebooks. With each new chapter you add, you'll be asked to choose which layout you want. In the next video, we'll show you how to import EPUB file content. Stay tuned!